So we'll see some problems here. So problems which are related to union, intersection, at the same time difference. And commutative, associative, distributive and De Morgan's laws. So verifying problems I'll show you how. So for example, okay, first question. Let A is a set elements 0 to 4, 6. 0 to 4, 6. B is a set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Elements in set C two four six eight okay. now question is verify that A union B union C is equals to A union B union C <clears throat> okay so this is the associative property we need to verify okay before solving we will take A union B so LHS will take first so we have first we will find out the A union B So it's a union means we need to write all the elements together. That is A set union set B. Okay, A set having 0, 2, 4, 6. And set B 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when you write together so union means without repeating the elements we need to write okay so we saw that 0 writing in order 1 2 3 2 is repeated uh, both sets a and b 3 4 5 and 6 okay this is a union b now a union b and union c okay lhs A union B already found just now again union C so that is A union B set union and set C okay A union B is uh, this one 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and union set C okay set C is here 2 4 6 8 2 4 6 8 now these all together the result is LHS A union B union C now 0 1 2 repeated it's only 3 4, 5, 6 and 8 also is there. This is the A union B union C. Now A union B union C you should find out. <coughs> if you observe your B union C value first you need to find. For that you have to add A. That is A union. Now B union C. So again, that means set B and set C. So combine if you take, okay, I am taking directly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and set C is 2, 4, 6, 8. So B union C is 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एट ओके ऑल द एलिमेंट्स हैव रिटर्न नाउ ए यूनियन बी यूनियन सी Now this is RHS. So left, uh, right hand side, A union, B union, C. Okay, set A and union set B union C. Set A we know zero two four six. Zero, two, four, six, and B union C. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. This all together, if you write without repeating. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So if you observe first equation, uh, first equation and second, both are equal. Therefore, so from one equation and two, hence A union B union C. Is equals to A union B union C. So this is associative property. Similarly, other properties also exist. So similarly, we can prove A intersection B is equal to B intersection A, and A intersection A union B is equals to B union A. So all the similar sums we can solve like this. Now I will show you one question which is uh, D mark uh, D law. Let A is a set. Two four six and B one two three five. So these two are the sets and one universal set. Universal set is. One two three four five six seven eight. Okay, so this is the universal set. Now verify that. A union B complement. Okay, this is the De Morgan law. A union B complement is equals to A complement intersection B complement. So A dash intersection B dash. So similarly, other rule also we can verify. That is A intersection B complement is equals to A complement union. B complement. First, let us try to solve the first one. Okay, solution. But if you take LHS, that is, first we will find out A complement and B complement. So A dash. 
we know that universal set minus a so from universal set which are belongs to a that we need to uh, remove that is universal set will write minus set a okay this is 1 to 8 and set a 2 4 6 so I count the complement rule Two four six. Two four six are common in both. That means which are belongs to A we remove. The remaining are one three five seven eight. Okay. Similarly you can do the B complement also. So that is universal set minus So data and writing answer means one two three five. If you remove two, okay one two three. So three or one two three should remove. So that means remaining is four. Five is also removed and six, seven and eight. So this is the beta. A union B. A dash intersection B dash. So see the common in this. This is a A dash set and this B dash set. In this intersection means only common. Is 13578 here 4678. Okay, 7 and 8 are common. Similarly, if you observe a dash union b dash, that is 1, all the elements together, union means 1, 3, 4. 6, 7 and 8. Now when you come to solve the first problem, that is A union B complement. So A union B complement is universal set minus A union B. So we know universal set. So A union B if we find out all together. That means 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 6 and 1, 2, 3, 5. Now universal set is 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 minus A union B. So A union B we can find out here. So right here. <coughs> A union B nothing but A element and B element you are right combined. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, this only A union B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if you remove common elements, if you strike, the remaining is 7 and 8. So because common elements in universal set and that remain 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, or which are removed from the A union B, and the remaining is seven and eight. So A union B all complement. There is nothing but this one. Okay, both you observe. Therefore. A union B complement is equals to A complement intersection B complement. You observe here A dash intersection B dash 7 and 8 and A union B whole dash is 7 and 8. So it's equal. Similarly, if you take common. A intersection B if you find out only common in A intersection B is 2 because 4 6 is not there 1 3 5 is not there only 2 A intersection B is only 2 if you observe a second part A intersection B complement is universal set minus A intersection B. So universal set is all the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In this A intersection B is only 2. Okay, if you write remaining. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So clearly it says A dash union B dash one three four five six seven eight. A intersection B complement is one three four five six seven eight. Both are equal, right? So <coughs> D Morgan's laws are exist. That means A intersection B complement is equals to A complement union B complement. This one and this. This both are the De Morgan's laws. So we can verify for any set A B. Not only this example, any set A and B in a set, we can prove this. So these are the example problems. At the same time, you can see some more questions also. I said this early, so before this. In this video, you can find out some more information which are related to this uh, chapter. At the same time, every question-wise solutions are also available in this website. You can go through once. Subscribe the channel if you did not do because we will upload only the videos which are related to education, especially for children. So hope you understood well and thank you for watching.